How to set an OCO order on Binance. If you don't know what an OCO order is, check out our article first. After logging into your Binance account, open your trading interface of choice. In this case, we're going to use BASIC. Go to the order entry field and select the OCO tab. OCO orders on Binance are a pair of limit and stop limit orders. Let's say we want to sell 1 BNB at a price of 30 USD. We enter 30 as our limit price. At the same time, we would also like to protect our downside. If the price of BNB reaches 20, we want to sell. So we're going to enter 20 as the limit price of our stop limit order. We also want to make sure our order gets filled. So instead of 20, we're going to set our stop price a little bit above 20, at 20.1. So, what is happening here again? If the price reaches 30 USD first, we're going to sell. However, if the price reaches 20.1 USD first, a limit order will be placed for 20 USD. Let's confirm our orders, and there they are. We can see that we have a limit order for 30 and a stop limit order for 20 that is placed in the order book once price reaches 20.1. If one of the orders is partially or fully filled or cancelled, the other is automatically cancelled. That's it! Now you know how to automate your trading strategies with OCO orders.